Welcome to the Exodus Intercessory and Deliverance Ministry. We trust that you will be blessed by this powerful message. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high lord i lift your name on high lord i love to sing your praises i'm so glad you're in my life i'm so glad you came to save us you came from heaven to earth to show the way From the earth to the cross, my death to pay From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift, Lord. Lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way From the earth to the cross, my death to pay From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the world to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. Lord, I lift your name on high. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Could be lifted on high. Yes, Lord. High above every other God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. From the rising. Your name, your name, your name is to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord. It's to be praised from the rising again, from the rising of the sun, up to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised from the rising of the sun, up to the going down of the the name of the Lord is to be praised. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise him again. Praise the Lord. From the rising. From the rising of the sun. Unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising, from the rising of the sun, unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise him now. Praise him again. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. From the rising, from the rising of the sun, unto the going down of the sun, the name of the Lord. It's to be praised from the rising again, from the rising of the sun, unto the going down of the sea. The name of the Lord is to be praised from the rising of the sun. Unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the rising, yes, Lord. from Hallelujah. the rising, Hallelujah. unto the going down Hallelujah. of the same, Hallelujah. your name, your name, Lord, is to be praised. Yeah. Your name is to be exalted. Your name is to be lifted up high. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every town in heaven and earth shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O God, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancient of days. Blessings and honor, gang. Blessings and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, Bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Blessings and honor. Blessings and honor. Glory and power be unto the ancient of the From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of the Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O God. Your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancient of days. Blessings and honor, blessings and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bound for the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth. Every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you will be exalted, O God And your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of days Your kingdom shall reign Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth Say unto the ancient of days And God can compare to your matchless word Sing unto the ancient of faith Every tongue, every tongue in heaven and earth Shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you will be exalted, O God And your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of faith Blessings and honor Blessings and honor Glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bound for the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O God. Your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancient of days. 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 Best, none bigger. All glory, all power, all honor Hallelujah. be unto you. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, yes, hallelujah. Lord. All glory, all honor, all praise. Lord, yes, Lord, it's you, it's we you, give you all the glory. It's you, it's you, it's you, Lord. It's you, we give you all the praise. It's you, we give honor. It's you, we give, honor. It's you, we give glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. All glory, all honor. Hallelujah. 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 
Big J of you all. Oh, 
let us adore him. Night and day, let incense arise. You are 
When the oceans rise and thunder roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. I will be still, know you are When the ocean now, when the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over. Lord. 
Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be again, oh yeah. Hallowed be your name. Oh yeah. Hallowed be your name. Oh yeah. Hallowed be your name. You are Lord and Majesty. Divine authority, hallowed be your name. You are divine authority, Lord. Hallelujah. We hallow your name. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect thing comes from you. Hallelujah. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Oh, we hallow your name. Hallelujah. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. You are Lord and Majesty. You are divine authority. Alone 
saying to me, sometimes it's not about singing another song, but it's about articulating your worship yeah. unto God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. What do you have to give to God today? Hallelujah. What is your sacrifice unto Almighty God today? What are we giving to God and God says we got to give our all Rabande Irebeka to Rosa Rabande Lebush Kata Lebreki Ketumande. We got to give our worship unto Him. It's all about Jesus. It ne Shabrakusa. I said it, it is all about Jesus. Jesus says he needs our attention. What are we giving him today? Hallelujah. 
What is your sacrifice today? We come wanting to receive from him. But what are we giving? What are we offering today? Hallelujah. 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 What are we giving unto God today? What have we given unto him for today? Can we say that we have offered something unto God today? Hallelujah. He loves us unconditionally. We worship you, Holy Father. We are before your footstool, O oh God. And God, you are labrosa. You are looking down at us, mighty God. Rabababandos katurobonde. Oh my God, we bring our offering to you. Shabande katurobosa. We worship you, Holy Father. Rabande rebosa kuturobosa. We give your worship today. We give your worship today. Rebando robosata. Whatever is the hindrance, push it out of the way. But give God your worship today. We worship your Holy Father. You alone, oh God, deserves our worship. We give it to you today. Rebecca Samande Rabababando Rabosi Katurobose. Let it flow out of your bellies, your worship, Robosa. Father, we worship you. Neyeda Rabuse Terebende Rebosa. We worship you, O God. Ilebranda Rabasoto Rabande. We worship you, Holy Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. In your presence, God, we cry holy. Holy, holy, holy. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, la bas kirebosha. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Let your worship ascend unto the Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 we worship you my father, hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah. We place you in the highest place for you are the great high priest. We place you
on a great high breeze. Oh yeah, we bless you. High above. Lord, I lift my 
hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once all I want to do, and all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Let your fire fall down on me. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once all I want to do, all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once all I want to do, and all I want to do, all I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Oh, Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can hear the fire within me, Lord. Once all I want to do, and all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall. Down. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once again, kindle the fire within me, Lord. Once again, rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once again, rekindle the fire within me, Lord. All I wanna do. Worship you. All I wanna do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. All I wanna do, and all I wanna do is love you. All I wanna do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can love the fire within me, Lord. All I want to do, all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire pour down on me. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. All I want to do, all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I wanna do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can burn a fire within me, Lord. All I wanna do, and all I wanna do is love you. All I wanna do is worship you. All I wanna do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can burn a fire within me, Lord. Once all I wanna do, all I wanna do is love you. All I wanna do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I 
lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can do the fire within me, Lord. One time. All I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right there at your feet. Lord, I live. Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can the fire within the Lord. What I want to do, all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can the fire within me, Lord. What all I want to do, all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I live. Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can the fire within me, Lord. One time. All I want to do is love you. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is stay right here at your feet. Lord, I lift my hands to heaven. Let your fire fall down on me. We can the fire within me, Lord. Once again, we the fire within me, Lord. Once again, we can learn the fire within me, Lord. Once again, we can learn the fire within me, Lord. Once again. to do is to love him. He is worthy. He is worthy, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Glory be to God. He is worthy. He is worthy. Nerabrusa. Worthy are you, Lord God Almighty. He is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 He is worthy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me call the speaker for today because I know who I am. I will stay here and worship till 12 o'clock tonight and think I could go until in the morning. Glory be to God because I have learned to stay in a place of worship. Hallelujah. I want to encourage us as we come to the end of 2023 and we go into 2024. Let us develop an attitude of worship unto God. Amen. Because the things we experience in 2023 will not be the things we will experience in 2024. And in 2024, all of us will have to dig in deeper into God. Deeper. Deep call it unto deep. Hallelujah. going to be releasing a prophetic word that God gave to me next week, Saturday, please God. Glory be to God. It is time for the for the church of Jesus Christ to rise up. I say rise up with an attitude against that devil. Glory be to God. Glory be to Eshabande. If you don't know how to war, 
tell us so that we can lay hands upon you and we can minister to you. Glory be to God. A new anointing is required for the new season. Hallelujah. I say yesterday's oil has gone stale. Behold, I will do a new thing. The former things, throw it behind your back. Get ready for the new. Are you hearing me, church? Get ready for the new. It was not only for this year. But it was for 2023 and beyond. Every time God gives us a theme, it is for the year and beyond. Please remember that. Hallelujah. So we got to rise up and square our shoulders. And walk into our new beginnings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And say to that devil, the things that you did to me before, I will no longer allow you to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I push you back. I push you back. And take your warfare and your worship and your praise to another level. Hallelujah. 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 We got to learn to war in the realm of the spirit. Pulling down principalities and powers. Dismantling strongholds of our lives and of our families. Hallelujah. All we need to do is to speak the word church with faith. And it will go forth and connect with the negatives and mash it up. I say, ma'esha to rosa. That is what God said to Ezekiel. Speak over. Very dry bones. Prophesy. And God is calling his church into a season of declarations. Hallelujah. Rise up and decree and declare. I said decree and declare. All stubborn situations. Must dissipate in the name of Jesus. Rise up and open your mouth and make declarations. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me introduce Spirit of truth. Holy Spirit. It is you with Nebra Tukosa. It is you we worship. It is you we worship, God. It is you we worship. Shabreka tu saturubosa. For I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to say to the church in 2024, the enemy is going to try to attack a lot of believers in their bodies. It has already started. It has already started. Church, this is a season where people pack up their plates. They cook nine and ten meals. And they want to consume all of it and God says, stop it. God says, stop it, you know. It is not good for your health. God says, stop it. Eat in moderation. Eat in moderation. Balance the things you put on your plate. Balance the things. Don't cook it if you cannot consume it. Because if you cook it, you will be forced to consume it. So don't cook it if you cannot consume it. Allow God to guide you, even in preparing your meals. There are some things we leave God out of. We want God to tell us what to cook because we want the macaroni pie. And we want the lasagna at the same time. So you're consuming both. And you want the shepherd pie and the corn pie. 
plenty starches, Pastor V. I'm not saying that you cannot eat those things, but in moderation. In moderation, people. Let us take care of our health. Our health is our wealth. Let us take care of our health. Watch what you eat. I know that many have already purchased the ham and the turkey. I have no problems with that. Because I have that too. But God is sending a message to his church. Eat in moderation. Amen? If you bake both, you could leave half for New Year's, Pastor V. And eat some of it for the Christmas season. And some people already have the pork leg. To bake and separate. And I don't know why God is sending me there. But somebody need to. Somebody need to hear. Eat in moderation. For here the Spirit of the Lord saying he will call upon some of us to fast on Christmas Day. That's what the Spirit of the Lord said to me. Huh? <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen? Amen? If God is calling upon you to fast on Christmas Day, just say, Lord, I give you praise. Worship your way through. Amen? Amen. Worship your way through. He, ha he has called on me several times to put away food. In the festive seasons. And I'm still alive. Amen. Let us do it God's way. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Put Praise the name of the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Obedience unto God is very important. Amen? Obedience is heaven's first law. Amen? So we can stand and, and send up all our worship and we walk in disobedience unto Almighty God. It will not take us anywhere. That's the reality. So put your hands together. Could we, could we all stand, please? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The word of God is important. Man shall not live by physical bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So put your hands together and help me welcome Pastor Roshan Daniel, who will minister to us today. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. I'm looking around and I'm seeing the goodness of God. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. It's as if Pastor Yvonne, it was meant to be like this. Seriously, I walked in and I didn't feel strange at all. I felt like this is how it was supposed to be. And initially, for those of you who didn't know, initially from the get-go, this is what we had in mind. And we thank God for making it happen. Amen? New beginnings, praise be to God. New beginnings, hallelujah. Today, I am reading two portions of scripture. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 1. And verse 23, and I'm also reading from Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. So let me read Matthew first. Matthew th chapter 1 verse 23 says, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, 
which is translated God with us. And Galatians 4.4 4 says, When the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive the full rights as sons. Heavenly Father, we commit your word into your hands. Hallelujah. And we pray, oh God, that you will open up the hearts and minds of your people today to receive what you want to impart unto them, Lord God. Let your word transform. Let it pull down mindsets and behavior. Let it, oh God, destroy the works of darkness. Let it set men free, hallelujah, and set them on a path of righteousness, oh God, that you have chosen for us today in Jesus' mighty name with thanksgiving. And the theme that I've chosen for today's message is reconciliation. Turn to someone and say to them, reconciliation. Turn to someone else, hallelujah, and say to them, reconciliation. <coughs> and in case you don't know what reconciliation is about, it's about, hallelujah, bringing back together something, hallelujah, that was destroyed. It's about, hallelujah, mending that divide, hallelujah, that exists, praise be to God. And it also means, hallelujah, coming near again to something that we were afar of, reconciliation, praise be to God. The first thing I want us to understand about reconciliation is that, hallelujah, in the fullness of time, praise be to God, God reconciled man, hallelujah. When the time, the Bible said, had fully come, praise be to God, it was not, hallelujah, done at any old time, hallelujah. There was a specific time, praise be to God. For man to be reconciled to God. The Israelites were waiting for a while. Hallelujah. For the Messiah. Praise be to God. Isaiah. Hallelujah. Wrote about it in 740 to 701 BC. Praise be to God. When he said hallelujah. Prophesying for, for to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government, hallelujah, will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, hallelujah, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, hallelujah. Reconciliation in the fullness of time. You see, we are always hurry <coughs> to get what we want. Now, for those of you who are waiting for spouses, you want your husband? No. You want your wife? No. For those of you who want a baby, you want it? No. Hallelujah. We live in a time and an age, hallelujah, where everything that we are desiring, we want it now. But God said, hallelujah. In fact, God sent his son, hallelujah, when it was an appointed time. The children of Israel, hallelujah, we were waiting very long for the Messiah. And don't think for a moment, hallelujah, they didn't go before God and reminded him of his word. They were in his face, hallelujah, because they are devout people, hallelujah, and they pray the word back to God. And so they were before him, hallelujah, praying and asking, hallelujah. And many years, hallelujah, had passed. Many, hallelujah, years had gone by. But no Messiah. But did they give up on believing the word of God? Because that is what we do sometimes. We are praying, hallelujah, according to what the word of God says. We are holding on to our word we got in Exodus. Pastor Yvonne, hallelujah, said God is going to do something. And years have passed, hallelujah. And we ain't seen it come to pass yet. Are you going to hold on? Hallelujah. Are you going to wait? Hallelujah. Like the Jews for the Messiah. Hallelujah. Or are you going to give up and give in? Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even before Isaiah, 
The first mention, hallelujah, of the Messiah is found in Genesis 3 and verse 15. And it says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush, hallelujah, your head and you shall strike his heel. Hallelujah. And I want us again to understand this was in the beginning. This was sent in the garden. Hallelujah. That God promised, hallelujah, to reconcile man again unto himself. Hallelujah. There was a prescribed time. Hallelujah. There is an appointed time. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. And Jesus came. The Messiah came. He redeemed man. And guess what? He's coming back again. There is an appointed time. Hallelujah. Sometimes we get slack. Hallelujah. In our riding, praise be to God. We want to touch this. We want to touch that. We want to wear this. We want to wear that. Hallelujah. Is God pleased with your behavior? If he returns today, hallelujah. Will you make it, hallelujah, when that trumpet sound, or will your hairs be clogged up, hallelujah, with all of the issues of life, and the this and the that, and the getting, and the things that we want to, hallelujah, give, are we going to be, hallelujah, in that right place when Jesus comes, hallelujah, in the fullness, praise be to God, of time, hallelujah. In the fullness, praise be to God, of time, hallelujah. You see, praise be to God in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts, hallelujah, are higher than your thoughts. What is God saying to us today? We are desiring things. We are working it out in our mind. We are looking at the biological clock ticking away. Hallelujah. We are saying to ourselves, certain things has to happen at a certain time or else I will not get it. But God is saying, listen, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Hallelujah. Sarah praised me to God. She laughed at God and then lied. Hallelujah. That she laughed. She found it funny. Hallelujah. That at her old age that God will give her a child again. But in the fullness of time. My goodness. In the fullness of time. In the fullness of time, hallelujah, God decided, hallelujah, to put, hallelujah, keys in the hands of a certain pastor of this church, hallelujah, with a quash sky, hallelujah. Praise be to God. PDG, my goodness, in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. You see, when we wait on God, my goodness. You see, when we allow the process, hallelujah, while we are waiting to form us, hallelujah, and to give us good driving skills, when the ride comes, hallelujah, we won't crash it the first day. We won't run into some big tree, hallelujah, because we don't know how to handle it. And you see, the fullness of time and the waiting for the fullness of time prepares us for what we are waiting for. It puts, hallelujah, some character because there are some hot mouth people in this church, Pastor Cass, who are looking for husband. My goodness, the Bible talks about a nagging wife. Hallelujah. If God don't drive out, hallelujah, that spirit, hallelujah, of opposition from inside of you, you're going to destroy your marriage. You're going to run that man to the roof. If you have a roof, hallelujah, that could take his weight. Because he don't want, hallelujah, to be around that. So in the fullness of time, my goodness, that knee giving you trouble. You're trying all kind of thing. You're putting wonder of the world and wonder of the universe on it, hallelujah. And the pain still there, hallelujah. In the fullness of time, my goodness, hallelujah. There was a man, hallelujah, who had no eyes. And when his, hallelujah, his disciples, Jesus' his disciples saw him, they said, Jesus, who did sin? Was it himself or his parents? 
in the fullness of time, Jesus said, so that the glory of God will be seen. Hallelujah. The man was born without eyes. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. In the fullness of time. Hallelujah. Jesus spat on the ground and made some mud. Hallelujah. And boom. Hallelujah. Eyes came. My goodness. In the fullness of time. What are you waiting on? Hallelujah. What are you crying out to God for? Hallelujah. What are you depending on from God? God is saying, hallelujah, it's a time, hallelujah. I prescribed a time. I've written down in my books, hallelujah. When you're going to get what you're going to get from me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the fullness of time, Exodus will be rejoicing in our own building. My God, hallelujah. Room for Sunday school. Room to take the ladies and the men. Room to do some oil bathing. Hallelujah. Rooms in the Nebosa. In the name of Jesus. In the fullness of time. My God, hallelujah. God had to prepare us a little more. God had to form some characteristics. Because we need more workers in a new building. Hallelujah. In the fullness of time. My goodness, praise be to God. Israel was in bondage for 430 years, but in the fullness of time. Big bad Pharaoh, the leader of the then superpower said, you're not leaving, but in the fullness of time. My goodness, hallelujah. God sent 10 plagues and utterly bankrupt them. And then Pharaoh said, go when? In the fullness of time, hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, God said, go and ask the Egyptians for something before you leave in the fullness of time. My God, hallelujah. Praise be to God. Exodus 3 and 22 says, every woman is to ask her neighbor and any woman living in a house for articles of silver and gold and for clothing, which you will put on your sons and your daughters. And so you will plunder the Egyptians in the fullness of time. I want you to think for a moment. They were slaves for 430 years. They had the little cattle and the little this and that. Slaves don't get paid anything, hallelujah. But in the fullness of time, hallelujah, God decided to send a deliverer called Moses, hallelujah, and brought them out with a mighty hand of God in the fullness of time. And they didn't just leave with a hand swinging as we say. But they went and they inquired for gold and for silver and for clothing. So they left wealthy people in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I want us to understand something. God brings deliverance to us in the fullness of time. You see the Bible talks about when a spirit is cast out. And hallelujah, it gets friends and comes back, hallelujah, to the house to occupy. If, hallelujah, no, no one is occupying that house, guess what? It's going to be worse for that person the second time around. Maybe you're dealing with a demon. Maybe you're dealing with something on the inside. That getting your hallelujah, your attention and pulling you away, hallelujah, from the presence of God. And you have been crying out and we have been praying and we have been laying, on, laying hands on you. And that thing, hallelujah, it still seems to be there. Maybe God is requiring more of you. So that when it goes, friends don't come with it to put you in a worse state that you were in before. Hallelujah. So in the fullness of time, you shall receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. I want us to understand something about the Israelites. God didn't only bring Israelites, the Israelites, out of bondage, you know, and slavery. But he brought their captures into utter ruin in the fullness of time. Egypt was the big bad as America is today. Let me just use it. 
kind of like with brackets, right? Hallelujah. They were the reigning superpower of that day. They had chariots. They had cutting edge. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, equipment, praise be to God, and weapons. Hallelujah. But when God was done with them, God brought them to utter ruin. I want you to understand something. You see the people that have come against you? You see a You see a You see that those family members that are fighting against you? You see that opposition that they're getting in your workplace? Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you today, in the fullness of time, God is going to bring you out and those that are standing against you. Hallelujah. God is going to bring to utter ruin. There is a timing. I need no amen. Hallelujah. You need to understand, hallelujah, the enemy of the church is the enemy of God. And God will allow, hallelujah, as we say long time, every rope of an end, it will come to an end in the fullness of time. He's going to mash them up, hallelujah. Right now, hallelujah, they have been, hallelujah, they found a place on the Red Sea where the Israelites crossed. They sent down cameras. And they're finding chariot wheels. And they're finding dead soldiers' bodies down in that place. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, in the fullness of time, hallelujah, your enemies are going to be destroyed completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that is fighting, I wish I could get a witness in this house. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. There's some that are fighting against me. Hallelujah. But my brother, in the fullness of time, my God, hallelujah. I will not even see their dust because God is going to bury them in the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness, hallelujah. In the name of Shatara Baba. And there are some that are fighting against, against uh, Exodus, hallelujah. There are some in Ebosai, some altars, hallelujah, that God have allowed, hallelujah, for a time and a season because he wants to bring an open show of the enemy. Israel wasn't destroyed in the night behind scenes, you know, behind curtains, hallelujah. Sorry, Egypt. Egypt was not destroyed in the middle of the night. Egypt was destroyed for the then world to know who the God of the Israelites were. And that is what God is looking for. God wants some people, hallelujah, that would stand, hallelujah, on the word of God. Will depend, hallelujah, on him to come through for them and to make a way in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to, say to your neighbor in the fullness of time. In the fullness of time. The second thing I want us to understand. In the fullness of time. The answer will come. Hallelujah. Tell someone. The answer will come. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Shatta, Rabbi Sai. There's a time frame. Hallelujah. That is written. Praise be to God. And when that time frame expires. Your answer. It's going to come. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Somebody should get excited. Hallelujah. My goodness. Hallelujah. Your answer. Hallelujah. Is on its way. Praise the Lord. Your answer. Hallelujah. Though you have been waiting for a while. Says the Lord. Hallelujah. Your answer. Hallelujah. Is going to come. Hallelujah. You might be waiting a little bit long in your opinion. But your answer is coming. Your answer is coming. Hallelujah. The scripture says, God sent his son, born of a woman. There was need of a savior. And the answer came. In Philippians chapter 2 and verse 6, it says, Jesus made himself nothing. He humbled himself and became obedient to death. Even the death on a cross. God put skin on. Hallelujah. He became touchable. Praise be to God. He became, hallelujah, approachable. Praise be to God. 
prior to this, hallelujah, God was somewhere in the heaven. And when those who would have prayed, would have prayed, hallelujah, with the faith that God will hear their prayer. But when, hallelujah, the answer came, praise be to God, Jesus, hallelujah, though he was immortal, the Bible says he put on immortality, praise be to God. No longer, hallelujah, was God a pie somewhere in the sky. He came to earth, hallelujah, and he put on flesh, hallelujah, so that we could handle him, hallelujah, so that we could touch him, praise be to God, so we could interact with him, hallelujah. He's no longer, hallelujah, a faraway God. He's a personal God. Oh my goodness, hallelujah. We are in the Christmas season, hallelujah. God don't want, hallelujah, only your table to be full of food. As Pastor Yvonne said, hallelujah, God wants the table of your heart, hallelujah, to be full of gratefulness, hallelujah, and thankfulness, hallelujah, of who the Son of God is. Think about this. The omnipresent one, downsized to the confines of a human womb. Think about it. God is omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. Hallelujah. Yet still, because he loved us, he humbled himself to become a cell in the life of Mary. Praise be to God. The omnipotent, the all-powerful one became a helpless baby that he had to be fed and nursed. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. The omniscient one, the all-knowing one, he had to learn to read and write. Hallelujah. And arithmetic. Hallelujah. He became nothing. I want us to understand that. He humbled himself. Hallelujah. He left everything the word of God says. And he taught it not robbery to come to the earth. Hallelujah. When God, hallelujah, uh, let me say it like this. When there is a problem, hallelujah, God always has a solution. When, when there is a problem, hallelujah, it was a great problem. How is man going to be reconciled to God after he messed up? In the garden when there was no one to redeem him or to buy him back or to stand in his place because all of creation had become corrupted. God had a plan. God had an answer, praise be to God, to deal with the situation. When Satan thought he wanted a garden, hallelujah. God said, hallelujah, I'm going to put enmity, hallelujah. I'm going to crush your head with the woman, praise be to God. And our offsprings, hallelujah. When we have a problem, hallelujah, that seemed to be impossible. You want 10 subjects, hallelujah. And he ain't doing so good right now, hallelujah. Is there a problem? God has the answer, praise be to God. He's the God, hallelujah, who's able to touch your mind. He's able to, hallelujah, cause those brain cells to line up, hallelujah. Do you have a financial problem, hallelujah, with a time frame on it? God had a Messiah, hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, that the earth is full, hallelujah, of the glory of God. Everything in the earth belongs to God. The cattle on the thousand hill. The oil and the minerals and the this and the that. Hallelujah. All you need is a little diamond like this. Uh, and you're good for life. Hallelujah. If it have enough carrots, praise be to God. Our oh, God, hallelujah. He owns it all, praise be to God. Is there anything, my goodness, too hard for God to do? Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Second Corinthians says in chapter 5, and verse 21, he who knew no sin, hallelujah, became sin for us. That we could become the righteousness of God. In other words, Jesus made a deal with us that we couldn't refuse. He said, give me all your sins and I will give you all of my righteousness. Sometimes we don't get that. We know it. 
sometimes they don't sink in as to what it really means. Because when God sees us as many times as we have sinned, if we genuinely ask for forgiveness, then God is going to take away our sins. We know that. He's going to put it in the sea of forgetfulness. He's going to choose to remember it no more. But not only that, the righteousness of Jesus, remember, he was perfect. There was no sin in him. Pharaoh, a man, not even a Jew, said, I find no fault in him. But the Jews said, crucify him nevertheless. And therefore, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are really trading our old dirty ways, our nasty sins. We are trading it for God's righteousness that allows us to stand before him as if Jesus was standing before God. That is how God sees us. That is what we need to understand around this Christmas season. Sometimes we deny ourselves. We disqualify ourselves. We say, nah, not me. God can't forgive me of that. Sometimes we hold them back because there's an issue in our lives that we are struggling with. But if God, the God of gods, and the King of kings, said, I'm going to trade with you your sins for my righteousness, then people of God, we can go before God at any time. Boldly, hallelujah, can we enter in into the holy of holies and make our petitions known to God. No longer, hallelujah, do we need a high priest. No longer do we need a sacrifice to go before God. We can go in, hallelujah, just as we are because, hallelujah, of the righteousness of Christ and access the blessings of God. Anytime, praise be to God, we want in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Psalms chapter 78 and 16, it says, He made streams come out of the rock and cause water to flow down like rivers. Praise be to God. Thus, hallelujah, says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a part in the mighty waters. Hallelujah. Found in Isaiah 43. And 16 says to us that there is nothing that our God can't do. He can make a river out of a rock. And he can part a sea with raging waters. What are you asking God to do for you today? What is, hallelujah, your prayer request? What are you, hallelujah, depending on God for you to do? Is there anything too hard for God to do today? In the mighty name of Jesus. The second part of the verse says, born of a woman. And I want us to think about that for a little while. Never before, never before was there ever a virgin given birth. In fact, <clears throat> Joseph had to be convinced by an angel that Mary's pregnancy was of God. Hallelujah. Therefore, the answer, praise be to God, did not come by normal circumstances. You see, sometimes we are looking for a natural way or a normal way for God to answer our prayer. But when we understand, hallelujah, that Jesus came from, hallelujah, a virgin birth, we need to understand that God could do a miracle for us in our situation. Hallelujah. Sometimes we're looking for medication to solve our problem. Sometimes we're looking for uh, uh, um, encouragement or something of the other natural means to solve our issues. But God is saying, just as I performed a miracle for Mary, just as, hallelujah, before that situation, there was never ever a virgin birth, so too God wants to do something miraculous for you. So too God, hallelujah, wants to open up a way, praise be to God, that has never been done to, hallelujah, to answer, praise be to God, you and what you are desiring God to do in the mighty name of Jesus. 
the third thing I want to say is this. God, hallelujah, praise be to God. <clears throat> In the fullness of time, will send the answer, praise be to God. And the third thing I want to say is, the answer is going to come to change your situation. Tell someone, my situation is going to change. Say to somebody else, my situation is going to change. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Born under the law to redeem those under the law. Hallelujah. He came, praise be to God, in a system, hallelujah, that was flawed. He came, hallelujah, and he revolutionized the old way of doing things. He said, Moses said, hallelujah, to do this or to do that. But I am saying, hallelujah, this is the way it should be done. He came, hallelujah, to destroy the mindset of those, hallelujah, that you were going to reach. And similarly today, not only, there, not only is God going to send the answer, but he's going to change the way we perceive things in our hearts and minds. Because God don't just come, hallelujah, to bring it this or to bring it that. There is more, hallelujah, that God comes to do, hallelujah. He's a bigger God, hallelujah. He just didn't come to save the world. He came to transform their thinking and the way they were doing things before. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You see, hallelujah. He's the resurrection and he's the life. I want to say that again. He's the resurrection and he's the life. Which means that, hallelujah, no matter how dead your situation presently is, God is able to make it alive. Lazarus, hallelujah, was in the tomb and his body was decomposing, hallelujah. And the Bible says, hallelujah, his delay, hallelujah, was intentional. And when he came, hallelujah, he was touched with the feelings of their infirmity. He was aware of how they felt and the Bible tells us that Jesus wept. In other words, I want us to understand, no matter what we are going through, God understands, hallelujah. God is affiliated, hallelujah, with any pain or struggle or discouragement, praise be to God, that we can face today. He's aware of it, hallelujah. But not only that, he's able to make the dead thing come alive. Are you in a marriage that is dying? Do you think that there's no hope for it? I have news for you. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. Is there a katarabasai? Is there a situation in your body? Hallelujah. That doctors say you're going to be, hallelujah, dead in X amount of days or an X amount of time. Are there prescribed medication? Hallelujah. To your situation, praise be to God. I'm here to tell you, hallelujah, when the resurrection and the life power of God comes, hallelujah. It breaks chains, hallelujah. It dispels darkness, hallelujah. It revives, hallelujah. The thing, hallelujah, that is dry, praise be to God. And it brings back to life the thing that was dead. Hallelujah. God is coming, praise be to God, to revolutionize. God God is coming, praise be to God, to change, hallelujah, situations, hallelujah. Anybody, hallelujah, suffering from diabetes or high blood pressure or some heart disease, hallelujah, or some kind of complication, praise be to God, that doctors don't know how to fix or how to solve, hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, when the resurrection power and life comes into your situation, when Jesus steps in, hallelujah, everything that does not, hallelujah, align up with his will for your life has to leave in Jesus' name. My goodness, hallelujah. You know, I'm looking at some faces. And everybody seemed to have a cute little smile on. But God is saying there is more under that smile that you're not talking about. There's some real issues 
on the inside. Hallelujah. There are some real struggles that only God, hallelujah, can fix. There are some, there's a real mess, hallelujah, that only God can clean up. I'm here to encourage you that the resurrection and the life, he is on his way, praise be to God. He has the answer to whatever your situation is. For some, for, for some of you, you have been dealing with something for a long time. Maybe something from your childhood. Maybe there was an opening there that continues to bombard you, that continues to play with your mind and play with your emotions or keep pulling you back to a situation that you thought that you were delivered from. God is saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. God is saying, hallelujah. Do not despair, hallelujah. I am here to deal with your issues in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, what I've realized is it's not difficult to deal with something for a little while. But when it persists, when it continues into weeks and months and then years, that weight that can be held easily for a short time becomes backbreaking after some time has passed. This microphone that seems to be so light to hold, I cannot hold it for 24 hours straight. It will become too heavy. And sometimes we have been dealing with some stuff for a while. And it has been weighted and waited on you. And you're standing straight physically. But spiritually you're bent. Hallelujah. Not that you have lost faith in God. Not that hallelujah. Not holding on to the promises. But it's waited. Hallelujah. It's waiting you down. Hallelujah. It's causing it to buckle. God is saying Hallelujah. Is there anything, my goodness, that is too hard for me to do? Is there any situation, my God, that is bigger than my capabilities to mash up and destroy for you in the name of Jesus? Is there any heart, says the Lord, that I can't turn around? Even the king's heart, the Lord is saying, is in my hands. Give me some time, says the Lord, even when you're not seeing the answer or possibility of the answer on its way. God is saying, I'm working on it. Hallelujah. Even when you're not seeing it. Hallelujah. I'm making a way. Praise be to God. I'm putting things in place. Hallelujah. I'm stirring up my people. Hallelujah. To get involved. Hallelujah. I'm clearing the way, says the Lord. So that when the answer comes, my goodness, there will be a free flow. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. When the resurrection and the life comes, darkness has to leave. My God, when Jesus steps in, into the picture, darkness flees. When Jesus stepped into the world, my God, just imagine he went to hell. A place that kept people bound. And the Bible says, when he was resurrected, those that were dead in him were found roaming around. They came to life. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your power? I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying. The Bible says, hallelujah. He made an open show. It was in the spiritual realm. Satan, your hold is broken in Jesus' name. The thing, hallelujah, that he had power of, God snatched it from his hand. My God, hallelujah. And he loose those, hallelujah, that were in bondage, hallelujah. And he's here to loose those. That are in bondage in his house. Hallelujah. You're hearing this message. 
Jesus can break you free from your bondage in Jesus' name. Reba shatter. My goodness, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. When light shows up, no matter how thick the darkness is, light penetrates darkness. The Bible tells us at the name of Jesus, demons flee, hallelujah. We don't see it, hallelujah. Those who were in the underworld says, when a believer, hallelujah, shows up, there is a fire, hallelujah, that burns around that person in the spiritual realm. I'm here to say hallelujah. If we could see into the spiritual realm right now, hallelujah, there's an inferno, hallelujah, that is burning, hallelujah. Demons can't come close. My goodness, hallelujah. When God is in the picture, my God, hallelujah, things change. The atmosphere changes when God steps in. My God, hallelujah. All of that grief and pain and fear, it has to leave, hallelujah. Because he brings the oil of joy. He is the prince of peace. My God, hallelujah. He's the lily in the valley, hallelujah. He's the one who changes our situation. His name is Jaira. The one who provides. It's Christmas time. Maybe you made a little mess of the money. God is able to restore. God is able to fix. If we own up our sins, if we say, Lord, I messed it up. I need your help. God is going to step in. Sometimes we know we make mistakes. And instead of asking God to rescue us, we're dealing with our own mistakes. When God has already made a plan for us to be free from the things that we have done. Which one of us is without sin? Which one of us has never failed? When God comes in people, he changes our perspective. He changes the way we think. He changes our situations. Amen? So the answer is on its way. Say to someone, the answer is on its way. The answer, my God. Hallelujah. Those of you who want babies and you don't have the ability to make babies, the answer is on its way. My God, hallelujah. The resurrection power and life is on its way hallelujah for those of you who buy the house hallelujah and you don't have all the monies hallelujah to do it hallelujah the way you want to do it the answer hallelujah is on its way hallelujah because his name is Jaira all we have to do hallelujah is to put our plan before him and say Lord my bank account can do this but your resources can do more. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. When your house is on a hill and it's caving down. Hallelujah. Jesus has the answer. Jesus has the provision. My God. He wants to give you a bigger house with more rooms on a flat ground so that the grandchildren can ride bicycle. Hallelujah. Not run down the hill with no brakes. Praise be to God. The answer is on its way. We look at our resources. We look at our capabilities. We look at our thinking and say, nah, it can't be done. Listen, your God, hallelujah, he owns everything. My God, hallelujah. From, for some of you, those children again going astray, hallelujah. But God says, hallelujah, I am the resurrection and the life, hallelujah. Who goes bent, hallelujah, I will pull them straight. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. We have the prodigal son as an example, hallelujah, of how, hallelujah, someone can squander, not lose by some unfortunate situation. 
squander what they have. Why was that there in the Bible? For us to understand that there is reconciliation for anybody who recognizes that they made a mess of themselves. There is restoration. Hallelujah. The kingdom's doors are open wide and the Father's arms are open wide waiting for all of us to return. Hallelujah. To a rightful place. Praise be to God. Because when he return, guess what? Bring that signet ring and put it on the finger of my son. Hallelujah. Because this son was lost. Hallelujah. But now he is found. This is a rightful heir to the kingdom of God. And we are rightful heirs in Jesus' name. I'm moving on. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. The fourth thing I want to say is that he's going to bring the answer to change our situations and to make us better. Say, I want to be better. Say to somebody else, I want to be better. And the scripture says, hallelujah, that we might receive the full rights as sons. Say to someone, I am a son of God. And if you have long hair, you could say, I am a daughter of God. Hallelujah. The son came to redeem or to buy back or to restore man to his rightful place as a child of God. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28, it says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that move upon the earth. Dominion. Tell someone, Dominion. Say, I am here to dominate. Tell somebody else. I am here to dominate. Remember, we understand that man lost his rights in the garden by being disobedient to God and was kicked out lest he ate from the tree of eternal life and ruin it for all of us for eternity. When God put man out of the garden, he was doing man a favor. Hallelujah. And because man lost his dominion, the enemy became in charge. Hallelujah. And now because of the restorative power of God, hallelujah, Christ is now in charge. And man in Christ is back in charge. Turn to someone and say, I'm in charge. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, turn to somebody else. Say, I'm in charge. As Christ is in charge. Amen. Praise be to God. You see, we need to understand that. And in order for us to understand who we are as children of God, because a lot of us, we get saved, we come to church, we get baptized, we sing in songs, we get slain in the spirit, we get delivered. But we don't know who we are as children of God. We don't know our authority. We don't know what we can do. We don't know what we cannot do. We don't know what is for us. We don't know what is not for us. Hallelujah. And so God wants not only to answer our problems or fix our situations. He wants to bring true restoration back to the believer in the name of Jesus. And one of those things is to understand that we have dominion over the youth. Not dominion over each other. I want you to understand that. Because some people feel that they have dominion over others. Not dominion over the unsaved. I want to say that. Sometimes we feel as believers, the ones who have been washed with the blood of Jesus, we could treat the unsaved in our homes, our relatives, anyhow we want. Now, we are at a different level, 
But we are not to dominate over any person. We are to dominate over the things of the world. You see, in case you didn't know, there is an order by the enemy that exists in the earth. The Bible talked about it. Principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and wickedness in high places and all of these things. There is a governmental authority assigned to nations, communities, and even continents. It's organized. It is organized. And so the enemy, that's why we call certain places hotspots. But when you look at certain places that are called hotspots, if you notice, there are certain demons that are ruling over those places. If we look at our country, every month another demon is unleashed. If it's not a demon of fire, people's houses burning down. It's a demon of accident, rail crashes on the road. It's a demon of murder, 10 people died this weekend. It's a, it's, it's a demon of incest, six children were found to be raped and this and that. There are demons that are on assignment. And as sons of God and children of God, when we understand, hallelujah, that we have all authority and dominion, then we can go in, hallelujah, into some prayer to this mantle, hallelujah, the strong man that is set up over our country and over the world in Jesus' name. So as a child of God, you're not here to look pretty only. You can look pretty and you can be deadly in the spiritual realm also. You can put on your lashes, hallelujah, and you can mash up in the, in the spiritual realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody say hallelujah. You can't have on a, nail, a little nail polish, but make sure, hallelujah, that those nails glittering as you're mashing up and tearing down in the spiritual realm as we are praying. Hallelujah. Don't put on high heels if you're going to mash up. That is just a little encouragement for you, right? Because you might break the heel and mess up your ankle. And then you can't stomp in Jesus' name. Amen? Let me move on. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 9 and verse 1. And he called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all the demons and to heal diseases. That is a privilege, my brother, of a son of God. Jesus has given us power over some demons in Port of Spain. All demons, people. All demons, you're saying, you know. The third that fell with Satan. All demons. God has given the children of God power over. And not only that, hallelujah. Because demons inflict diseases and sicknesses also. And to heal diseases. How many fighting a clue a flu? Or do I have a clue? What are they fighting about? Listen to me. We have power to heal diseases. We have power over every demon, firebug. My God. Listen to me. I get excited when I think about the maths of God when he says, one shall put a thousand and two ten thousand. How much tree, Mr. Mr. Financial um, my God that's a different mathematics but think about it two ten thousand three how much four five how much inside the house if we come together in agreement my goodness hallelujah the Bible don't give us authority over all the demons and every disease is COVID a disease it's HIV a disease. It's cancer disease. It's diabetes a disease. My God, hallelujah. Sons of God arise. And let us take back, hallelujah. This nation, hallelujah. For our Lord and Savior. Let everybody in, hallelujah. In, 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 
In Exodus, hallelujah, walk disease free. I walk demon free, hallelujah, because we operate in as sons of God in the earth. My God, hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 and verse 37. Nay, no, in all these things, what? We are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Why are we more than conquerors? Why more? Because Jesus conquered everything. Because the work has already done. So we just had to go through the motions. Because hallelujah, he has conquered everything. And therefore we are more than conquerors. Because we are operating from the work that Christ did for us. And through us. So when hallelujah, we're watching the news. Or we turn on the radio on the cars we are driving. Or we're looking through the window of a, of a vehicle that we are traveling in. And we're seeing issues. We see in vagrants on the streets right here in Port of Spain when we're coming to the sanctuary. Don't we know that we are power? Some of them are demon possessed. That is why they are on the streets. Some of them, if you take them out and you clean them up and you cut their hair and you feed them and you house them, they will still end up on the street because there are demons that are involved in their situation. Hallelujah. How much of us, hallelujah, are saying like Peter, I ain't I, I, I no money right now, but that which I have, hallelujah, I'm going to give to you in Jesus' name because they're always looking for something, hallelujah. Exodus selling oil, hallelujah. Get a little water gun and shake it up, hallelujah. Or put it in a little thing and start a sprinkle in the name of Jesus. Rise up and be healed. My God, in Jesus' name. We might find that it's funny, but God, hallelujah, can work through any situation. My God, hallelujah. How long have we been coming? And we see in them day in and day out, hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Walk around with some oil. Sprinkle it on the pavement. Say no demons, hallelujah. Of hallelujah, vagrancy. We live here, in Jesus' name. Use your authority, hallelujah. As a child of the most high God, my goodness. John 14, 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these will he do. I'm fascinated with Lazarus. I'm fascinated with the guy who had the chains, who were naked in the tombs. This guy will... Breaking chains. Nothing could hold him. But when Jesus showed up. And he came to his right senses. Those who knew him. Were amazed. Of if that was the same guy. Clothed. And sitting. In his right mind. That is what Jesus can do. He can call a man as I said. Whose body was decomposing. Sometimes we see animals on the side of the street after they get bonked. They swell up after a couple of days. They start to decompose worms on the fourth day. Jesus caused that decomposing body to come back together. Greater works. Greater works will you do. Greater works. Think about it. Greater works. Greater works, hallelujah. How many of us, hallelujah, have been sent, hallelujah, by the Spirit to raise somebody who died? How many of us, hallelujah, went into the madhouse led by the Spirit of God, hallelujah, to hold somebody and to shake that demon out of them in Jesus' name? How many of us are going to the hospitals except Andrea, hallelujah, to lay hands on the sick? And to see them recover in Jesus' name. Again, name right? Again, name right? Natiki, I mean, sorry. Natiki, I mean, in Jesus' name. Praise be to God. Greater works, people of God. That is what the sons of God, that is what we 
have been given as children of God. We inside there, we looking pretty. And oh gosh, hallelujah. Uh, 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 on the 25th, we're going, we're going to be in red. And we will be dazzling. And our lips red. And our cheeks red. And our shoes red. And our bags red. Hallelujah. And, and, and what is going on in the spiritual realm? Are we going to take a day off that day? Because after we eat, hallelujah, we're going to take a little rest. Because ethnic fatigue settling in. Pastor Yvonne, I love that word. Fast, hallelujah. And go into some warfare. Because most Christians will be absent on the job. Because it's family time. We had to meet. And we must have a little punch of creme. A little wine good for the worms. We quote in scripture, hallelujah. I hope, anyhow, praise be to God. I hope uh, you spare any black cake. Mm, hallelujah. And you're not overdosing it. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. True story. Uh, a, particular, a particular person don't drink, eat some of the crumbs. But you know, hallelujah, it is sink to the bottom. When you put it on it now. And couldn't pray to bless the food. Hallelujah. Because they were drifting. Hallelujah. In a different spirit. So hallelujah. So on Christmas day, why most of the Christians absent? Absent. Think about it. Absent. Because we take the day off to celebrate Jesus. And we neglecting our responsibilities as children of God to rise up and to intercede. Because think about something. It's a good opportunity because a lot of People of different religions celebrate Christmas. And they may not accept the full embrace of it. But it would be, it would be good if we are interceding as they are celebrating that the Spirit of God will visit them and make alive in them the reality of what they are celebrating. Amen? Amen. One more point, and then I'm out. Hallelujah. Let me just say this one thing, and then I'll move to the next point. In Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17, it says, No weapon, not even one weapon, absolutely none that is formed against you shall prosper as a child of God. It could be formed. They could be planning to bring it. But not one will prosper against a child of God. Not one. Turn to someone and say, not one. Not one. Not even a little one. None going to prosper. Hallelujah. Not only that. Because people like to talk. And every tongue, hallelujah, that rises against thee in judgment, you shall condemn it. Because words have power. And when it is spoken, it attracts demons or angels to carry out what was said. And sometimes people talking behind our back. Why did this and why did that? And how come? But we have authority to cut down every tongue. Listen to me, whether you know what they said, or you don't know what they said. If you're finding something a little strange here, what? Quote the scripture and say, every tongue that comes against me in judgment, I condemn it in Jesus' name. It will not prosper against me or my household in Jesus' name. I match it up in Jesus' name. Why? Because that is my heritage. That is what God has given me rights to do. To mash up weapons and to shut down tongues. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. John 10, 27 and 28 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life. And guess what? And they will never perish. I want to say that again. They will never perish. And guess what? And no one will snatch them out of my hand. That's what God said. 
Say no one, sister. Shall snatch me out of God's hands. Tell somebody that again. Say no one hey, shall snatch me out of God's hands. Say one more time. No one shall snatch me out of God's hands. That is a privilege. That's what God said about us. Nobody will snatch us. Hallelujah. You could walk up to God and say, God, where's that in your hand? Eh? You matter what? We used to say it a long time. Your head good? Your head ain't good. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. The last thing I want to say is this. And to abide with us. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. God, the Almighty One, but God is also Emmanuel. I want us to understand that. I want us to understand that. Because Jesus was both God and man. And sometimes we can't fathom it. We, we can't understand it. But God, the Almighty One, is also Emmanuel, God with us. Think about that for a moment. Praise be to God. If you want a balanced picture of God, He is God most high and God most nigh. He is God most high and he's also God most nigh because Emmanuel lives with us. Hallelujah. Jesus came and did what he did to position us. But he said, I am going, but I'm sending another just like me. And the spirit of God is the one that Jesus was speaking about. And the spirit of God is with us. Praise be to God. And guess what? He will never leave us. And he will never forsake us. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And the thing is, the greatest gift, and I want parents to hear this. The greatest gift a parent can give a child is the present of presence. Can I say that again? The greatest gift a parent could give a child is the present of presence. What does that mean? We could give children everything they want. Who want the truck, who want the car, whatever. I don't know even what, know what the gifts are these days, right? Do children still want dolls? Maybe. Hallelujah. We could give them all the presents that they are desiring on Christmas Day. But if we leave all the presents under the Christmas tree with their names on it, and we are not there, as much as they are enjoying the presents, they want the presence of their parents to be with them. We need our parents to be with us. We who are children of God, we need our daddy to be with us. And that is why God said, Emmanuel, God with us. Because as much as we get the this and the that and all of the other things, there is no greater gift than the presence of God. There is nothing that compares to God. Because we could be feeling how when God shows up, listen, it's like all of our cares get tossed away. And all of our desires, hallelujah, amen, praise be to God. Because God, hallelujah, is with us, amen. You see, the gap or the space or the throne in our hearts can only be filled by God. And that is why people who don't know Christ... They look in all the places to find something that will fill that void and bring that satisfaction. And nothing can work except God. 
And that is why when people come to God, there is a fulfillment. There is a reason for living. Because when God, hallelujah, sits on the throne of our hearts, the present is present in us. Amen? My encouragement for us, hallelujah, if you don't know God, or if you think that your relationship is not where it should be with God, is to give God full reign in your life. One more scripture, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24, it says, A man of many friends will come to ruin, but there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Amen? His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Right where you are, with your eyes closed, and your heads bow. And if you're viewing us on the platform, then I want you to do the same and say after me, Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Reconcile me to the Father. Enable me to understand who you created me to be. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and help me to live this life for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Praise be to God. Let's give God a mighty round of applause. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Amen. We hope that you enjoyed that message. And just in case you want to visit us, well, our services are on Saturday at 3 p.m. We are located at number 66 Independence Square, Port of Spain. See you there.